Sit, ma'am, sit. Ma'am, this ULIP give you 20% return per year, ma'am, per year. You should take it as soon possible. But I think a term insurance will be better for me. Ma'am, why you hate money? Why you want to waste it? What do you mean? Ma'am, see, if you buy a term insurance, you need to pay a premium for 30 years. And you are so fit and fine by God grace. <laughs> Stop. Nothing it. will Thank happen you. to you till 70 years. Then why do you need to buy a term insurance? Hmm. Instead of this, you buy a ULIP. Bhagwan na kare, kal ko aapko kuch ho jaye, to you'll get a life insurance and also you get a 20% return on your investment. Really? Kya hai ki we put your money in mutual funds and when your policy ends, you get your money back and the returns are completely tax free. Ab bataiye ma'am, is se achhi policy milegi? Yeah, then why am I buying mutual funds? I'll buy this only. Congratulations ma'am. Okay, something was definitely wrong with that insurance agent. But let's think about Yulips for a second. It's an insurance and if you don't pass away, you still get a return on your money. That's pretty good, right? But it does sound too good to be true. I'm going to tell you something about Yulips that these insurance agents are definitely not going to tell you and will probably missell you. We'll talk about the good and the bad because certainly no one else will. Let's begin. So let's talk about ULIPS or a unit linked insurance plan. Insurance plan because well it's insurance and unit linked because it's linked to the market just like a mutual fund so it's linked to well units. Every year when you pay this premium some of the money goes towards the insurance the term insurance and some of the money goes towards market linked instruments actually it goes to a mutual fund and gives you market returns so you get benefits of both you get the death cover in an insurance and you also get the market returns isn't this a better product versus just a plain term insurance this is exactly what some insurance agents do to get a higher commission and missell you this product. Because usually a ULIP may not be good for you. So before we talk about the disadvantages, let's start with the advantages of ULIPs. Okay, about 41% people don't buy life insurance because they think it's not needed, there's no urgency and they won't get a return so they just don't buy it. With a ULIP, because you have death cover and you get returns, some people will actually buy it and they'll get some cover for their life. So that's a good thing. Second reason, people don't invest in the stock market. So this is a great way for people to start getting some exposure into equity. Third, there are tax-free returns. That's always nice. Who likes paying taxes? Fourth point, unlike a normal term insurance where you're paying for 25, 30 years, in a ULIP, you can pay five or 10 years and get cover for like 30 years. That's pretty good, right? It sounds like I'm getting a benefit for a long time, but I'm only paying for one third the time. So that's nice. But guys, the pros are nice, but the cons really outweigh the pros. Let's begin. The first problem will surprise you. You actually think that a ULIP gives you both life cover and growth in your money. It's actually not true. You get either one only. For example, let's suppose you invest in this ULIP and your money that you've invested within that ULIP grows to 18 lakhs and your life covers 12 lakhs. Let's say in this example, the ULIP holder dies. He should get both, right? He should get the 12 lakhs and the market returns. Nope, he will only get one of the two, whichever is higher. In this case, it's 18 lakhs and that 12 lakhs is gone. Poof, vanished. Chala gaya. Kahan gaya? Pata nahi. Imagine if you had invested in a term insurance separately and a mutual fund separately. If a person passes away, he'll get the term insurance benefit and wo to hai hai na, he'll get the mutual fund return as well. He should get both. But in a ULIP, you get only one. Now let's come to problem number two, low life cover. Now, what's the primary objective about a life insurance? It's so that your family can actually take care of themselves if the primary earning member is not there anymore, right? So you can't have a life cover of one or two lakh. A rough way to get to a number is, let's say someone earns 10 lakh rupees a year, his life cover should be at least a crore. That's 10 times your annual income. 
1 crore rupees it sounds like a lot but if you divide it over 10 years it's not a crazy number for your family so you are paying 10000 rupees a year to get 1 crore life cover in a term insurance okay i want you to guess how much you need to pay in premium in a ulip to get the same 1 crore cover i give you 3 seconds it's 5 to 10 lakh rupees premium per year generally speaking a ulip gives about 10 times the life cover of the premium that you're paying and a term insurance does about 1000 times there are some variables here i'm assuming it's a 25 year old he doesn't smoke and drink etc etc but even if we change the variance a little bit and say you find a really good ulip which gives you 30 times or even 40 times which in some cases you may find it is still not comparable to a thousand times of what a term insurance gives so most people actually buying ulips don't pay a premium of 5 10 lakhs they'll pay maybe 10000 and that will give you a cover of 12 lakhs that's not enough so if you really want to get a good life cover for your family the best option is probably just a plain term insurance and then we have problem number 3 charges and returns so of course every financial product has a charge to it and that's completely fine and should have a return to it also fine because we all know what we're getting into but when we talk about a ulip things change guys so let's read what this guy at reddit has written he says that he invested in a ulip for 5 years and it should have given him a 17% cagr you know how much he got 7% do you know why because of the fees Now, here's how it works. First, when you pay an amount to buy a ulip, that premium, some portion goes towards insurance and some portion goes towards your investments. Now, because a small portion is going towards investment, your overall return will reduce, right? Because the entire whatever premium you've paid is not being put in the market. So, overall your returns will reduce. But there's a second problem here. The portion which is now market linked will not give you the same returns as shown in the mutual fund because the charges in a ulip are much higher than any other normal financial product let's see an example let's suppose you invest 10000 rupees into a ulip 500 rupees goes towards the mortality charges and 9500 rupees is invested in markets and that year the market goes up and gives you a 15% return and this 9500 becomes 10925 nice But because you invested ten thousand, all that money was not invested in the market, so you don't get fifteen percent. You actually get nine point two five percent. That's why the actual NAV will always be greater than your actual realized returns. So while researching for this episode, we tried to see all the charges that a ULIP standard does. But the truth is. There's just no standard charge. We have these three basic charges that all ULIPs charge. The first is the mortality charge. This actually goes towards your insurance. Then you have your management fee because some portion is being managed and put in equity markets. The manager needs to be paid. So that company needs to be paid. So there is a management fee. And finally there's a discontinuance fee. If for whatever reason you stop paying your premiums, you are charged a penalty. Now, apart from this, there are these fees as well. Anyway, all these things actually add up and it makes it unnecessarily confusing and eats up your returns. But let's move on to the next point. The fourth point is tax free returns. So this basically means after 20 years or whatever your term is, once you get that money from the mutual fund portion, that return will be tax free. Now, I'll be honest, the tax free is actually real. and it actually makes sense but this is only applicable if your premium is less than 2.5 lakh rupees a year but generally it will give you less returns than mutual fund so is it really worth it probably not disadvantage number 5 lock in and discontinuation imagine you buy a really nice looking ulip plan and you pay 10000 rupees a month for your future Now you're paying and life is going fine but suddenly covid happens. Now you use your emergency fund, you pay the 10000 for a few months but you've lost your job. You can't afford this monthly payment anymore. So you discontinue. 
here's what the ULIP does. First, you immediately lose your life cover, but the money you've paid so far that was supposed to be invested in the mutual fund to give you returns is moved away from that to a discontinuation fund, which gives you a 4%, a mere 4% a year, which means you're not making returns there either. Eventually, after some time, you figure out that they've also charged you other fees because you discontinued before five years. And then you're watching this video thinking, damn, why did I invest in the ULIP? So in this case, if you own the term insurance and you stop paying for it, of course, the term insurance will also not do your life cover. But the difference is actually in the details, more specifically in the premium. A ULIP premium could be 10K, but the term insurance premium might be 800 or 900 rupees a month. Even if you lose your job, you can probably still pay that 800 rupees or 900 a month, right? But paying 10K may be a little difficult. So it is tougher to continue a ULIP. So within five years, if you don't pay the premium, then everything just doesn't work and you can't withdraw your money because it's a lock-in for five years. So you don't have access to that cash. Unlike say a mutual fund, even if the market fell, at least you can still withdraw it because you know, it's your account. Problem number six, mis-selling. Take a look at this ad. Look at that percentage return. Wah, wah. Can you tell me what mutual fund this is? It's not a mutual fund. It's actually a ULIP. And uh, a lot of people make it look like it's an investment product. Even recently, the authorities said that any person selling a ULIP cannot make it look like it's an investment product. But a lot of companies missell it by making it look like it is a product that gives you great returns. And if you look at the agents as well, the agents are incentivized really well to sell it to you. The commissions are really high. And because of that, they wanted to sell ULIPs and they did. Imagine you're sitting across the table, someone telling you all these good things. How will you check? Who reads all the documents to make sure whether it's good or bad? No one knows. You need a zero one to tell you if it's good or bad because we talk about the good and the bad and hopefully it helps. Tell me what you thought about this episode in the comments. If you've heard about ULIP for the first time or you know about it, especially if you have a story about it. Here's a simple task for you to do to get featured on Zero One's Instagram and on YouTube. Ask your parents if they've invested in a ULIP or an endowment plan or any of these things and tell us the story. The person who elaborates and tells us the story the best will get featured. Let's see if you can de-influence your parents and see you in the comment section. insurance next point kya hai duniya bachche ko dara rahi hai sir aap adults ko dara rahe ho truth <laughs> welcome to dean friendsing now you have to get used to it it's part of your life now <laughs> 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 extra to theek hai